like beat me out here. Yeah. Raw and I cry, act like you don't know. We have no fear. Raw in our eyes, act like you don't know. We re up here. We the men from acts like you don't know. We the prophet of the most high, act like you don't know. Beat me out here. Yeah. Raw and I cry, act like you don't know. We have no fear. Raw in our eyes, act like you don't know. We re up here. We the men from acts like you don't know. We the prophet of the most high. Y'all ain't no men's out here With all y'all wins of doctrine Us y'all again, stop it Multiple enemies rising But we stay cool like dry fit Against the truth, you will lose Nothing you can do about it This is an organization, don't argue Stop wasting our dedicated time Brothers want us to speak Hebrew, so say that in Hebrew <laughs> Let me stop Hey, purple on boots shining and we deep Lazy can't So who's God's elect? What did the Bible say God's elect was? We got to pay attention. This is very important information, Mr. Jenkins. Read. We're going to get to a question. Read. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect. Who's God's elect? What did the Bible say? What did the Bible say, sis? Who's, God is, who's God's elect? Mine. Read it again. Read it again. We got to pay attention, family. Read. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 4. Bring it out. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel. And who? Israel, mine elect. So who is God's elect? It says Israel. Israel, these people right here. These people right here. Israel. So who is Israel today? Deuteronomy chapter 28. Bring it out. Who is Israel today? Because we got a people that's over there in Israel that claim that they Israel, right? But the Bible shows you who the direct descendants are from Israel. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 16. Let's go straight to it. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 16. Right curse shall thou be in the city. It says curse shall thou be in the city. What nation of people are cursed in the city? Last hire, first fire. It said, cursed in the city and cursed in the field. Look at this picture right here. Did we go to school every single year and learn that we were cursed? Learn that we was in slave, uh, slave ships? Right. Learn that we was on sugar cane plantations? Right. That we got whipped by master? But the Bible said that would happen to the Israelites. That's right. So who are we? Are we Mr. Jenkins? Are we the Israelites? Because, for instance, your last name, right? What's your last name, Mr. Jenkins? Jenkins. Jenkins, right? What do you think your last name came from? The white man. The white man. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 37. Yeah. Now we get to the root of the problem, right? Why do you think he gave you that name? To identify, to identify and for him to tell you and your family members that you was his property. That's why they gave you that name. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. Bring it out. And thou shall become an astonishment. The scriptures say the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans shall become an astonishment. What is an astonishment, sis? Mr. Jenkins, what is an astonishment? I know, but I Teach him, talk to me, talk to me, sis. Explain it. <laughs> we got to get to the bottom of this. What is an astonishment? i give you one. What about TikTok? Don't you see the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans twerking all over TikTok? See? Twerking on Instagram? Right. Black on black crime? Do you see any Chinese on Chinese crime? Have you ever seen Chinese on Chinese crime? No. What about Arab on Arab crime? But they have a name for us, black on black crime. That's right. Brown on brown crime. That is what you call an astonishment. Read. A proverb, a proverb. You want to hide something from a nigga, put it in a what? You see how he answered that so quick? That is what you call a proverb. Read on. And a byword. And a byword. Mr. Jenkins is a byword. African American is a byword. Hispanic is a byword. 
That is something being called out of your name in the Bible. Do you understand that? So what are we called? Genesis 32 and verse 28. Genesis chapter 32 verse 28. You see this name right here at the top? What does it say, Mr. Jenkins? 12, it says 12 what? 12 tribes of Israel, right? For instance, Mr. Jenkins, what does your last name mean? You don't even know what your name means, right? You got any children? You got any children? Don't you give them names? Why do you give them names? Because they mean something to you. They're important to you. That name that you give them, it means something special. God gave us a name. And I'm going to show you what our name means. Read. Genesis chapter 32, verse 28. Uh -huh. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob. He said, your name should be no more called Jenkins. Your name should be no more called African Americans. Read. But Israel. But who? Israel. Read. For as a prince. Mr. Jenkins, you are a prince. Since you are a princess. That's what Israel means. Read. For as a prince has thou power with God. You have power with the most high God. Read. And with men. And with men. So if the Bible said that we're prince and princesses, Mr. Jenkins, do you think as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, are we conducting ourselves as princes and princesses? Why not? Huh? Deuteronomy 28 and 15. I'm going to show you why. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, Read. to observe, to do all his commandments. So it said if we didn't do what? Do, no, no, we can't say rules because a lot of our people will say rules, do his will. It says do his what? All his commandments. What's that word we said that started with a C? Commandments. Before y'all leave here, I want that, that word to get implemented in your spirit. Commandments. Commandments. We didn't do God's commandments. So then, read. And his statues, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Mr. Jenkins. Do you think getting shot down in the streets is cursed? Uh, I don't know. I can't, I can't speak on that. Okay, Deuteronomy 28 and verse 66. Right Let's up. see if the Bible speaks about that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 66. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 66. Right and up. thy life shall hang in doubt. It says your life, Mr. Jenkins, your life sir, shall hang in doubt. What's your name? Charlie. Charlie. It says, your life, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, their life in particularly shall hang in doubt. Read. Before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night. Mr. Jenkins, if you got pulled over the cop, uh, by the cops at nighttime, right? You don't think your heart going to stop pumping? You got your license. He got his insurance. But you still fear that you might be the next Negro to get shot down. That's what the scripture just said. We're reading out of the Holy Bible. Right. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, life shall hang in doubt. Right. Right. Read. And shall have none assurance of thy life. George Floyd didn't have no assurance of life. Breonna Taylor had no assurance of life. Why? Because we disobeyed God's what? You, what says? I told you I want that, that word with the C to be implemented in your spirit. Commandments. Commandments, okay? We didn't keep God's commandments. Read on. Verse 67. Uh -huh. In the morning thou shalt say, would God it were evening. Don't try. You have a job, sis? Don't when you go to work, you be like, dang, I wish this day was over with. Ain't that what we say? Dang, I wish this day was over with. I done slave hard. I ain't got a good amount of check. I got to provide food for these children. Read. And at even, thou shalt say, would God, if it were morning. You get off at one, you be like, dang, I can't wait till the next day. Bring it I'm out. tired. I just want to go straight to sleep. Teach I'm tired of working. I'm tired of busting my ass Teach. eight to five every day to make a hard living around here. Bring it out. This is talking about you. You are in the scriptures. That's right. But you are not called African-American. Right. 
You got that from your oppressors. The same ones who whooped your ancestors. Night in and night out. Day in and day out. Okay. I didn't hate, I don't hate white people either. I'm just reading what the Bible say. So what's your question, Mr. Jenkins? You got a question, right? What's your question? How do you teach a person that can't read? You can't read? You can hear, right? You can hear? Hey, hey, uh, give me um uh, Revelation chapter 1. Revelation chapter 1. We have to be taught these things. Matter of fact, Acts chapter 8 and verse 29. Acts chapter 8 and verse 29. Can you read, sis? So the brother said, what, what does that deal with to a person who can't read? Acts 8 and uh, 29, read. Acts chapter 8, verse 29. Right. Then the Spirit said unto Philip, go near and join thyself to this chariot. Read. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah uh -huh. and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? So a person was reading out of the Bible and he couldn't understand what he was reading, right? Read. Understand what thou readest? Uh -huh. And he said, How can I except some man should guide me? He said, Except some man should guide me. Because I read the Bible before, right? And I didn't understand a word that was coming out of the Bible. But it took a man who kept the commandments of God to teach me. Because a lot of us as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we don't want to listen to anybody else. We're so prideful. God's dealing with me by myself. The Holy, the Holy Ghost came and talked to me. I'm the one that had a dream. God dealing with me. That's not how it goes. Moses gave the children of Israel the commandments. Joshua gave the children of Israel the commandments. It was always a man that God put above to help the children of Israel understand what they needed to do. You understand that, sis? So, what's your nationality? You said Romans 10 and 17? Romans 10 and 17. All right. What's your nationality? So, what is it then, sis? I'm African-American. You African-American? We just showed you that you're a princess that has power with God, sis. African-American don't have no meaning. That's right. You are a princess. Israel, sis. That's where you come from. If I'm a, a Chinese man, I have to come from somewhere. Chinese man come from where? China, China right? You're an Israelite that comes from Israel, sis. That's, right. That's who you are. That is what you call a nationality, a nation of people. Do you understand that? What's your nationality? You just told me you understand. We're not going nowhere else until you understand who you are according to the Bible. Because I can't teach you nothing else if you don't even understand who you are. Right, right, right. How are we going to know who the Bible talking about? Right. Who are you according to the Bible? What does God say you are? Israelite, all praises to the Most High. Right. Romans 10 and 17, read that. That's for, brother, yeah. That's for the brother. Read Romans 10 and 17. Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Uh -huh. So then faith cometh by hearing. It says faith cometh by hearing. Read. And hearing by the word of God. So you hear by the words of God. Not what your pastor told you. Not what your preachers in church told you. You hear by the words of God. Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 17. Because since when you said Israel, you seem like it didn't mean anything. I'm going to show you your homework right now. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. Read what you got. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. Listen up, Mr. Charlie, because you're supposed to be leading your people. Read. But Israel. It says, but Israel. Who's Israel, sis? He's talking to you. He's talking to you. Read. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Don't we need to get saved, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Just look around. Don't we need to be saved? Right? Read. Ye shall not be ashamed. You should not be what? Ashamed. You shouldn't be ashamed of calling yourself Israel. You should never be ashamed of that. Read. Nor confound it. And anybody can't tell you who you are. You know that you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. We are not ashamed of calling ourselves princes and princesses on the place of the, uh, face of this planet. We are not ashamed of that thing. Read. Ye shall not be ashamed, nor confounded. World. That's how special you are. 
You are the world to God. Right. You are the world to him. Everything to him. We, we don't end. You know what? You would never end, sis, if you keep God's commandments, right? right? So we understand, right, Mr. Charlie, that we is in this predicament for not keeping God's commandments. How do we get out the predicament? If we went into slavery for not keeping God's laws, how do we get out this predicament? To follow the commandments. So what should your question be? What are the commandments? What are the commandments? That should be your next question. If I know my people is getting shot down in the streets for not keeping God's laws, I want to find out, hey, what is God's commandments so I can start following them? Right? Now look, sis. You believe we love you? You believe we love you, sis? We ain't out here just to just be out here. We love you, sis, right? But this, this scripture right here, sis, I'm telling you, it is a strong hold on our sisters. If you can get past this, sis, we good, right? You love God, right? That's what you said. First John 5 and 3, 3 and then get Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Why he gets the scripture, I want you to look at this sign. See this sign, Mr. Charlie? Come, come in real quick. Come up close, right? What do you see right here? We'll hold it for you. We hold it. We got you. What did it say? Restroom, right? Come here, sis. What do you see on the right side? On the right side? Oh, yeah, on your, yeah, you see a man. And then what do you see on the other side? A woman, right? What is the difference between these two? Mmm, I want you to pay attention to that. One has a dress on and one has pants on, right? First John chapter 5 and verse 3, because she says she loves God. You love God too, Mr. Charlie? I believe you do too. Read. First John chapter 5 verse 3. Uh -huh. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. So what's the love of God, Mr. Charlie? We got to keep his what? What's that word I was telling you about? Commandments, right? So if you love God, you got to keep his commandments. First John 2 and 3. If you don't keep his commandments, then what? Do you love him? We'll see what the Bible says. Read. First John chapter 2 verse 3. Uh -huh. And hereby we do know that we know him. If we keep his commandments, uh -huh. he that saith, I know him, and keep it not his commandments, is a liar. So if you say you love God and you don't keep his commandments, the Bible is saying you're a liar. Right. So the scriptures say, try the spirit by the spirit. I'm going to give you a commandment, and I'm going to give you a commandment. And if you truly say that you love God, you're going to keep his commandments. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. It says the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.